like they can't even take the smallest criticism or accountability for something that they've done without spinning it into some kind of defensive blame shifting thing where they become the victim. Have you ever noticed just how defensive a covert or vulnerable narcissist really is? These are the types of narcissists that can't just dismiss you with arrogance when they're met with something that creates a need for accountability in them or when they feel like they're being criticized, judged or questioned when they feel like the mask has slipped, anything like that. Okay. So the overt narcissist or the less covert narcissist, will just dismiss you and we'll get angry. We'll walk away. We'll, we'll just, you know, get on with it. A covert narcissist. This is kind of where they are easy to spot. This is where the exposure of who they really are starts to happen and where you start to see that they do not behave in situations where they have to take accountability or they're questioned or anything like that, like an adult. So they will get defensive. They will shut down. They will go silent and they will turn the table so that they become the victim. They will become passive aggressive and devaluing when they are met with anything that questions anything about them. They have a really, really fast reaction to anything that causes a sense of humility in them or when they feel exposed or vulnerable in a real way, they will flip it into being a victim or blaming you. So is this content about covert narcissists something that really interests you? And is it something that you've lived through and experienced or are you living with one right now? You guys leave me comments and I'm happy to talk back and forth with you in the comments section later about this stuff, okay? So, so in a healthy conflict, you will have two people or more, but let's just take two for now, and they will have their own points of view about a situation conflicting points of view about a situation. Healthy relationship, each person is open to hearing the other person's point of view. Whether or not it changes their point of view or affects their point of view in a way where it slightly changes or they can come up with a compromise that serves both people's points of view, right? With a covert or vulnerable narcissist, two people's point of view, the narcissistic point of view is the only one that's going to be given the attention, okay? Because when you state your point of view, they shut down and they go away and they hide and they protect themselves and they deflect and they get passive aggressive and they blame shift, all right? So what happens then is the points of view that you were having the conflict over are now in the background. What's in the foreground is the behavior of the narcissist that then you are trying to fix and trying to bring out the listening you're trying to get your point across so you may still be coming at the situation restating your point of view in 50 different ways to get them to listen to you because it's so basic and so simple and it really isn't that big a deal and why are they shutting down right and that covert vulnerable narcissist will continually pull the game that they're playing where they refuse to be open to another person's point of view conversations over conflict is now heightened the communication about the initial conflict is gone and everything turns to fixing the situation by you backing off the original topic and catering to the feelings of the narcissistic person that is one of the most unhealthy and non-productive communication styles manipulation techniques so unhealthy in relationships okay that you can never have an adult healthy conversation when there is any form of conflict and if you need any help with anything coaching group coaching or peer support check out the information in the description of every video and i will see you guys next time